a problem shared is not a problem solved. A wise person knows this. Any intelligent person knows this. A problem shared is not a problem solved. A problem shared is actually a premium tears or a sea finish. When you share your problem, the person who you share that your problem to now know your weakness and he will use that weakness against you. I'm about to show you a particular video, but before I show you that video, um, just like I talked about, uh, you're not making the mistake of marrying wrongly. I also want to talk about this. You see, most things we go through in life, we are the things we invited by ourselves, invited by what we listen to. You know, this lady just said something. You watch the video where she told us about how she allowed what people say, particularly on social media, to destroy her marriage. Today, most marriages are destroyed, not by the couple themselves, but by people outside. That is the truth. If you check most broken homes, they are not mostly by the action of the couple, but by what they listen to. They go listening to outsiders, particularly social media. Social media. Let me tell you, most people on social media, sometimes say before you even read somebody's comment, once somebody made a post or comment on social media, go and check the person's profile. Go, go check the person's profile first. By the time you check the person's profile, you will now be in a position to, to know the caliber of person before you begin to trouble yourself before you reply or even think of something. Most people, particularly on social media, will copy the, that is the frustration in their life, the frustration, the stress, everything, their problem or their wala in life, they will just copy it. They want to paste it into your life. And not everyone is wise and intelligent enough to to stir off or stem off these uh, things. So you see a situation whereby if you know me, I no go take them, all those thoughts. And in their lives, they are, they are practically nothing. If you pay attention on social media, you would just, even on, not just on social media, even in, on the, in the society, you discover that people who talk about marriage most are actually unmarried people. Or people who are paid in marriage. People who will encourage you to destroy your marriage are mostly unmarried people yet to be married or people who are paid in marriage. People who are paid in marriage are uh, they <coughs> come pretending to be freedom fighters. Not really freedom fighters. They don't want to appear as they're the only ones that fail. You know, marriage, failing a marriage is actually a failure. And in fact, it's about the biggest failure. And they don't want to appear as if they are the only failures, particularly women. So they will want you to fail with them so that you will not appear as they are, they are, they are failures. So at the time you say, uh, uh, this is how this person is not fail. So it's not like uh, 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 it's only me. And so they will have an association of people who failed in marriage of Nigeria. You know, they now have everything have an association. Association of uh, Yahoo boys and Yahoo girls mothers. Association of uh, failed marriage uh, women association of Nigeria. Uh, failed men uh, marriage, uh, failed marriage men association of Nigeria. Every kind of association. So everybody wants to have a company. Evil spirit, wishes and who's that? No, have company. They have uh, their own association. Uh, I'm Robert. No, everybody wants company. So people want you to fail, not just in marriage, generally in life. People want you to fail. 
So next time, before you carry your marital issue or personal issue to somebody, you first of all ask yourself this question. Who is this person that I'm listening to? If I fail in my business or in my marriage or in my academics or in anything, how does this, how does it affect this person? It doesn't affect anybody. It affects you. And let me tell you, nobody cares. Like this one, you have problem, you want to share with somebody. It's a lie. Nobody cares. Me, as I'm talking to you, I don't care. I don't care if you fail or succeed because your success has no value to me. If you have one billion naira in your account today, you will not come and carry the one billion naira and give to me. And if you never shop at all, that one no means say the food will there my pocket, uh, my stomach go empty. You know, understand? You know, hear me well. If you never shop, the food will there my stomach no go empty. And if you have one billion in your account, that one billion naira no go add shishi to my pocket. So in other words, nobody cares. Your success is your success. Your failure is your failure. And know this, maybe it's a take out, a cut out or take home, whatever language you want to use it for. A problem shared is not a problem solved. A wise person knows this. Any intelligent person knows this. A problem shared is not a problem solved. A problem shared is actually a premium tears or a C finish. When you share your problem, the person who you share that your problem to now know your weakness and he will use that weakness against you. So you were the carry your marriage matter, go meet person. What did the person do for you? What did the and what value did the person add to you? You answer me. Does it add any value to you? It doesn't add any value. So you just carry yourself, carry your leg, come outside. If you never shop, nobody cares. If you shop, nobody cares. If you don't come at one day, the person can't stop you for ah, I'm on way to shop. You can come and say na egg and fry egg and fry the egg. You can say eh, hey, how the thing they do you for so much? You can come tell them. You mugu, nobody cares. What am I really trying to say? Don't fail your marriage by yourself. <laughs>